can you diagnose this patient? So we have a 25-year-old female, and she has bilateral white nipple discharge. She is also experiencing amenorrhea and infertility. She has a negative pregnancy test. What's going on? Well, the most common functioning pituitary tumor is a pituitary adenoma, a prolactinoma. Prolactinomas obviously increase prolactin, and prolactin increases galactorrhea, and it also inhibits GnRH, which leads to decreased LH, FSH, and that's what causes amenorrhea and infertility. Now you confirm this with the pituitary MRI, and the treatment is dopamine agonist, and they like to test on bromocryptine. So if you see galactorrhea and amenorrhea, then you should think of a prolactinoma. Now a fibroadenoma, that's a benign breast tumor. It's gonna be a painless, firm, mobile mass. There's no nipple discharge with the fibroadenoma. A galactoseal is a milk-filled cyst. And this occurs during or after pregnancy and lactation, but this patient was never pregnant, and so it's not a galactoseal or a, or a fibroadenoma. And intraductal papilloma would present with bloody discharge, and lobular breast carcinoma would be a painless breast mass that's often subtle that would not cause galactorrhea, and Paget disease of the breast that would cause eczematous nipple and areola, and also to be associated with ductal carcinoma. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.